The Manungal Jar is a secondary burial jar excavated from a Neolithic burial site in the Manungal Cave of the Tavan Caves at Lipun Point in Palawan. It dates from 890 to 710 BC and the two prominent figures at the top handle of its cover represent the journey of the soul to the afterlife. The Manungal Jar is widely acknowledged to be one of the finest Philippine pre-colonial artworks ever produced and is considered a masterpiece of Philippine ceramics. It is listed as a national treasure and designated as item 64M074 by the National Museum of the Philippines. It is now housed at the National Museum of Anthropology and is one of the most popular exhibits there. It is made from clay with some sand soil. Discovery of the jar The Manungal jar was found by Dr. Robert B. Fox and Miguel Antonio in 1962. It was found alongside the remains of Tabin Man. It was recovered by Dr. Fox in Chamber A of Manungal Cave in southwestern Palawan. Manungal Cave is one of the Tabin Caves in Lipun Point. The Tabin Caves are known to be a site of jar burials with artifacts dating in a range from 2300 to 50 BC, 4250-2000 BP. Chamber A dates as a late Neolithic burial site, 890 to 710 BC. 78 jars and earthenwares, including the Manungal jar, were discovered on the subsurface and surface of Chamber A. Each artifact varied in design and form but was evidently a type of funerary pottery. First excavation and response to discovery The first ever excavation that discovered this burial jar was in the year 1964 by Dr. Robert Fox. During that time, he and his team were excavating the Tabin Cave Complex, specifically in the Lipun Point. Fox's excavation was most unusual in many ways, the inside of the jar contained human bones which were covered in red paint. Like Egyptian burial practices, the jar also had numerous bracelets, is perhaps unrivaled in Southeast Asia, the work of an artist and a master potter, these words were said by Robert Fox when asked as to how he would describe the jar's origin, based from its appearance. Design of the jar The Manungal jar shows that the Filipinos' maritime culture is paramount that it reflected its ancestors' religious beliefs. Many epics around the Philippines would tell how souls go to the next life, aboard boats, pass through the rivers and seas. This belief is connected with the Austronesian belief of the Anito. The fine lines and intricate designs of the Manungal jar reflect the artistry of early Filipinos. These designs are proof of the Filipinos' common heritage from the Austronesian-speaking ancestors despite the diversity of the cultures of the Filipinos. The upper part of the Manungal jar, as well as the cover, is carved with curvilinear scroll designs which are painted with hematite. Early Filipinos believed that a man is composed of a body, a life force called Jinhawa, and a Kalulua. This explains why the design of the cover of the Manungal jar features three faces the soul, the boatman, and the boat itself. The faces of the figures and on the prow of the boat have eyes and mouth rendered in the same style as other artifacts of Southeast Asia of that period. The two human figures in a boat represent a voyage to the afterlife. The boatman is holding a steering paddle while the one on his front shows hands crossed on his chest. The steersman's oar is missing its paddle, as is the mast in the center of the boat, against which the steersman would have braced his feet. The manner in which the hands of the front figure are folded across the chest is a widespread practice in the Philippines when arranging the corpse. The cover of Manungal Jar provides a clear example of a cultural link between the archaeological past and the ethnographic present. It also signifies the belief of ancient Filipinos in life after death. Jar Burial the practice of jar burial is an instance of secondary burial, in which only the bones of the deceased are reburied. The jar itself was not interred. See also Tapayan References External links Media related to Manungal Jar at Wikimedia Commons. Manungal Jar. 
National Museum of the Philippines. Retrieved 2 July 2013.